what is acceptance testing? Now let's talk about a concept that relates directly to the last criteria used to assess the quality of a user's story, which is testable. Let me ask you one question. Since user stories should be testable, that must mean that there are tests for user stories, right? Remember how a user story is compact enough to be written on a one side of index card. Well, not only does that keep your user story short and to the point, but it also allows you to write tests for each story on the back of that index card. This, the kind of test which is written on the back of the card is acceptance test. So what is acceptance test? Uh, an acceptance test is a check for whether a requirement is met. Acceptance test is used in almost all engineering disciplines and software engineering is no different. An acceptance test specifies how your client will verify that a user story has been satisfied. If the acceptance test, test passes, then the user story is considered satisfied. An acceptance test is created based on the acceptance criteria. An acceptance criterion is a specific condition that must be met, whereas an acceptance test is a method for verifying whether the condition has been met or not. Now, just like a user story, an acceptance test is written using simple, straightforward language. Each acceptance test should be an easy to understand action with a ver verifiable condition that the user story is implemented correctly. And each test should verify one small part of the user story. And if all the tests pass, then the acceptance criteria considered passed. So let me give you one example. Let's create acceptance test for the first user story we created in the last lesson. So our user story was as a customer i want to be able to enter my payment detail for visa and mastercard credit card so that i can pay using a convenient method so here are some examples of acceptance tests for our user story and you should be able to test this story with the following criteria payments can be made using a visa credit card Payment can be made using a MasterCard credit card. Payment can be made using an online financial service. When paying with a credit card, filling in the card number field auto detects the card type. And the customer sees only the relevant input fields depending on the selected payment method. Now, those, those are just a few examples. And there could be lots more, and the contest of these acceptance criteria is usually de determining by your client's specific needs. So all of these criteria follow the similar structure. They are all simple, they are all easy to verify, and all relate to a paying with different payment types, as specified in the user story. Now, since all the these are criteria we need to create acceptance tests to verify this criteria now let's take a criterion of being able to make a payment using a visa credit card and turn this criterion into acceptance test we might write a few tests for this criterion so here are a few tests for this criterion insert a visa card into the chip reader enter the visa pin and confirm that payment was accepted so by going through these steps you verified acceptance criterion and when you met all the acceptance tests then the acceptance criterion is considered passed if the acceptance tests are passed for all the user story acceptance criteria then the user story is successfully acceptance tested by listing acceptance criteria, you are giving your developers a frame of reference for how the story should be broken down into developer's task and eventually finished. When your acceptance criterion and tests are written along with the user story which they accompany, you are making sure that the functionality you want to implement can have its implementation verified. 
Now the question is who writes acceptance criteria and acceptance tests. Now just like in user story, acceptance tests and criteria should be formed by your client. However, it's also a good idea for your developers to create acceptance tests alongside your client. This allows your client to give input on how they want to see the requirement working and it also gives your developers the ability to work throughout what each requirement looks like from the user perspective. So your client gets a big say in what the product does and the developers can visualize how each feature will be built. So thinking through each requirement like this will also help you avoid creating the ever fearing epic user story. So a too many acceptance criteria for one user story probably suggest that you could break this user story up a little bit more. So the main takeaway from this lesson is to remember that the acceptance test is just a list of simple conditions to check whether a user story is implemented correctly. They can be verified straightforwardly and make it easy for everyone in the project to think about what each feature does. Okay, now can I ask you again to practice this by yourself? Choose any user story that you would like and add acceptance criteria and test to verify that you did a good job. I want you to make the most out of this course. I want you to learn this. And the best way to learn this is by doing it yourself. So please pause this course and do your work now and share your results. Oh no.